All right. Well, um, obviously a disappointing loss, unfortunately, this past Sunday. But uh, you know, another great opportunity to go ahead and get back on the horse and um, uh, help this team win some football games and uh, catch a little hot streak. So with that, I'll go ahead and uh, open up questions. You remember from that 2013 game out there? Oh yeah, I do. Oh yeah, I even watched it too, unfortunately. But yeah, I mean. We're obviously a different unit, different team, um, but those are situations you can always learn from. Um, but uh, yeah, no, we, uh, you know, our guys are excited. I know this is a tough team that we're going up against. I mean, they're a really sound, uh, disciplined football team in terms of special teams. They've had a lot of success, and I know our guys are, are, are ready for that challenge and looking forward to it. How cra- that, that 2013 game, how crazy was that? Like four touchdowns in the last two minutes? What do you remember about that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was uh, a lot of different kind of situations, you know, uh, going through that. and. It was, it was a lot of crazy, a lot of ups and downs, but um, you know, a great opportunity that you know, we, we, you know, I went back and watched it because it's different personnel and everything. But um, yeah, I mean, it was it was crazy to be a part of. But I know uh, we, we played them a few years ago and we got after them a little bit too. So it's just it's always going to be a tough fight game, a fight game, and um, you know, our, I know our team is ready for that. Your debut for Kenne, it's you know, counts as an NFL game, but also never got to really touch the ball or, or do it, get, uh, I guess, any kick returns. Yeah, and, but, you know, it's always good to go through those uh, situations and get lined up and, you know, kind of go through the mental process of it, too, and and uh, be prepared. And uh, he prepares really well and, and for all those situations. But, um, yeah, it was, it was good to see him. But I would like to go ahead and obviously see uh, him uh, go, and I know the guys are excited for him. But uh, when our opportunity presents itself, we'll be ready. Ryan, there hasn't been a punt return for touchdown yet in the entire NFL. Um, is it punt return units just – mastering the craft or is it a random thing uh it, it just seems like um the coverage units have been good this year yeah i mean you know obviously not gonna work for us i mean we're our guys are covering really well you know and i know you're talking about as a whole as a, as a unit as in terms of the nfl and it is tough i mean um you know just be, it's got to be in the right situation you know when to be able to call the return of the down and distance field position how aggressive you can be what if you're going to be rushing if you're leaving the the gunners outside single block or vice and uh, so it's got to be a mixture of both, and then guys having, you know, playing penalty free, um, you know, not being uh, having any of these returns, you know, negated due to penalties and uh, unfortunate situations. So, um, you know, I, th- I think our guys are ready to go and, uh, you know, ready to get some explosive returns and find a way that how we can help, you know, our offense and team in terms of, you know, we talk about set up a score or score, and that's what we got to do and make sure we uh, give that short feel for our offense. But yeah, it's. It's been a challenge, but um, we're ready for that. Will D.D. go back to uh, returning punts now that he's apparently healthy? Yeah, I mean, that's the the full expectation. You know, I was expected for him to obviously uh, play last week. It was a game-time decision. But uh, uh, but if not, I mean, K.J., he did a great job uh, handling that, that role in that situation, filled in nicely, and just showed his uh, composure and, you know, just how much he's grown uh, from his rookie season. And, uh, you know, had a nice little return right there to, uh, to help with the net with, and uh, give a little short fill for our offense. What is the biggest key to not allowing the opposing team a big punt return? Uh, again, I'm sure you'll knock on wood, but it, you've done well this year in not allowing big punt returns. Um, is, is there something, like, you know how offenses will have these modern things they put in, motions or whatever? Like, what is the version of special teams coverage unit that's like that that teams are doing? Yeah, I mean, with, with us, it's just doing our job, making sure we go ahead and one play fast. But it, it's a combination of a lot of things. It's one of, you know, obviously you got to execute the snap. It all starts with that and then protect. I mean, you got to be able to protect. And then uh, we got to have those high quality punts that we mentioned, you know, uh, a, f- a few weeks ago and that consistency and then doing a great job in coverage and just, you know, playing fast and being disciplined and doing your job. Uh, that's what all boils down because if everyone does their job, we can have success as a unit and as a team. Um, so we got to make sure we just continue to, to hit on that and, uh, we, and that consistency in all aspects. But these guys are really playing hard and, uh, you know, uh, we're fired up about it. But we got a lot to do and we still got to, you know, have a lot of progress that, that we still got to make moving forward. You see, when you see Justin Tucker's range, yeah. um, is there anything you can do with that information? Like when you see him make a 66 yard kick in a game? Yeah, I mean, he's uh, obviously one of the best in the league, uh, and if not the history, I mean, he's really talented, and uh, we got a work cut out for us. But, uh, you know, there's some things that we can hopefully do to kind of get him off rhythm a little bit. But, um, you know, we just got to make sure we do what we do, and I think uh, we do that and we execute that at a high level. Uh, I think we have the opportunity for success. You know, we were able to, uh, you know, force a miss uh, last week and kind of affect the, the game a little bit uh, early on, and, and that's a testament to, you know, the defense and the field goal block unit in terms of uh, going out there and uh, challenging those guys. What is the routine with a kicker going into a new stadium? I couldn't hear him. Yeah. Now, what is the routine with a kicker going into a new stadium, especially an outdoor one? Like, what do you do to prepare him for wind patterns or 
you know, uh, there's a lot of film study, you know, that we'll we'll do and I'll watch in terms of, you know, um, the direction of the wind patterns and what it could be, you know, where they kick off, how they kick off, what sideline it goes to. Uh, obviously, it can change every game. Uh, you know, we do have a, a punter, obviously, Jordan has played a lot of games there, so we have some information. And you kind of have a roll decks and uh, the information you put on there. But, I mean, just going outside of practice right now, it doesn't matter. I mean, you, you can prepare and try to prepare for every situation, but it's not going to be exact. But just yesterday in practice, kicking in a windy situation, uh, you know, we're on grass, too. And, um, you know, that all helps out because they're obviously a grass team now instead of uh, the AstroTurf. So um, there'll be times where we'll go inside into the out, outdoor stadium where it's turf. If we're playing a team outdoors, that's turf. And just try to put them in those kind of situations outdoor and uh, simulate as much as we can. Does that change things too much, grass versus AstroTurf? Yeah, I mean, just the comfort and everything. I mean, there's and there's also different types of turf. I mean, there's some that are packed down with sand, and there's those little turf beads, the tire beads. So, and all of them uh, wear differently. So, uh, that does impact it. But uh, that's our job to go ahead and make sure that we go ahead and eliminate any, any kind of, um, you know, uh, question in, um, in regards of you know concerns with that, and just make sure we just go out and kick every kick the same, and and just execute it. Known for anything in particular, you, you know, regarding surface, weather, or, or anything that you no, that, that, yeah, no, it looks like that grass they wear it well, and um, yeah, just I mean, they went from that turf to the grass, but no, it's always an exciting, uh, good atmosphere stadium, and we've got to, you know, got to our cut our work cut out for us to go ahead and uh, uh, minimize the crowd and uh, just really uh, go out there and play. Hey, Ryan, the Sunday the Steelers lost their kicker, you know, in the, early in the game. Correct. And it got to a point where they, I mean, Tomlin wouldn't trust the punter to even do a chip shot. Um, if that were to happen to you guys, do you, does, does Barry, does he have any kind of experience with that, or could he kick a field goal? Yeah, I mean, we've we've definitely we've discussed that, and that's it's funny that you asked that, but uh, and that's a great question, Mark. But we've talked about that. We've gone through those scenarios. Um, you know, and uh, I know Barry's kicked off, you know, before, but that's also a part of us that we got to make sure we do a good uh, job on, you know, as coaches. We don't put them in harm's way to be those situations. Because at the end of the day, you have one kicker and one punter, and, and I know it's great to be aggressive and, and when those situations occur, but it's an unfortunate uh, incident, um, you know. But yeah, we do have a, you know, we have a backup long snapper, uh, you know, who would take over for that. You're always working that on the side on Wednesdays and Fridays. and and just making sure that we uh, go through those contingency plans if something does happen, you know, in an emergency situation. Very kick. I mean, what would, he, what would he be his range if, if uh, something happened? I mean, that would be, that's, I mean, I, I'm just, I know he's uh, able to go ahead and kick some of the short ranges, but uh, we're, I'm hoping uh, and I'm betting on Greg to go ahead and uh, he'll, he'll be good but in those situations. But yeah, if it's a groin issue or something, I mean, not, I don't, I mean, that'd be, it'd be a game time decision on how we go ahead and execute it, you know, what the flow of the game is in terms of if it's close, it's, you know, on how we go ahead and execute and decide if we're going to kick it or not. Has he ever done it before his career? I mean, at high school, any, any, any level? No, yeah. no, no, I mean, not that, but that's not to say that he can't do that, you know, I mean, he's, He's able to go ahead and do some of the things. I know he's kicked off in the in the league before, and uh, he's kicked some touchbacks. So, uh, we'll uh, hopefully it doesn't have to. We don't have to come across that in, in the future. But trying to throw pass. Well, I mean, I can't say. I mean, I'm, I I do have that offensive mind. I like to go ahead and be creative a little bit. So. <laughs> oh. Is there anybody that can kick on the team that we don't know? I remember seeing a video of Vince Wilfork kicking one from like 40 yards. I mean, there's a lot of good athletes out there, and you, you try not to go ahead and on our team, obviously, try not to go ahead and uh, have them do it because you don't want them on, uh, you know, messing around, kicking a punt or a field goal, and then them getting hurt on, on uh, you know, off when we're not practicing for like detox and stuff. But yeah, I mean, uh, as you guys uh, know, I mean, Davidson, he was a punter in college, uh, and he has a really strong leg, and so we're always just. You know, trying to go ahead and always trying to improve, and um, you know, you never know what can happen, especially in this level and and with with COVID and everything. You got to have those contingency plans and be ready to go and plan for everything.